day, which means it's time for a YouTube video tutorial. And I have a really fun sneak peek for you today. I think you're gonna like it. Uh, it is called, this is from the new Butterfly Bouquet Suite, which is coming to you guys on the 2nd of March. So it will be available for customers to purchase on the 2nd of March. And that promotion will run through the 3rd of May. So let me go ahead and while you're uh, thinking on that excitement, let me get everything set up here just to be sure we're good to go. Hey, Rosie, appreciate you joining. All right, it looks like I'm transmitting, so that is all good. Okay, so let me share this suite with you just to begin with. Okay, here's the card. We'll look at it in just a minute. So this is the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set, which is the anchor of this suite and let me tell you about this i left look i left a mess here for you guys that's terrible shame on me okay there we go um this stamp is one single stamp can you see that you stamp one time and you get six beautiful butterflies that are all ready to be colored however you'd like to color with your blends with your markers with your watercolor pencils with your blending brushes however you'd like to do ready to go all right but what's really super fun about this is the matching die set called brilliant wings now this is going to take a bunch of magnets i'm just saying hi faith hi pam hi danette appreciate you joining going to take a bunch of magnets because there are a lot of dies in this set okay so again this is the butterfly brilliance stamp set with the bundled brilliant wings dies now let me tell you this is what stampin up calls an early release product which means this product will be available to you guys to purchase in march and april so the beginning of march to the beginning of may but then this is actually a product in the new annual catalog, the 2021 to 2022 annual catalog, which comes out this summer. Okay, so if you buy it during the early release, you'll still have it all ready to go when the new catalog comes out. Hi, Sylvia. Appreciate you joining. Hello, Paper Hugs, whose name I've forgotten. I'm so sorry. I know your name isn't Paper or Hugs, but hello. And hey, Mandy, appreciate you joining. Now... Let me show you another piece of this little puzzle. This right here is called the Butterfly Bijou 6x6 Designer Series Paper. Okay, listen closely. Is everybody listening? You got me? You listening? Hi, Molly. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate you joining. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Betty. And Molly, I'm so sorry, but I bet you money I won't remember that next week. So my apologies early. Hi, Amy. Hi, Stacy from Florida and Mandy. Appreciate y'all joining. So this is the Butterfly Bijou 6x6 DSP, and it is gorgeous. Look at all of these designs, and you get a lot. So each of these designs has like six pages in it. Let me see if I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I'm betting it's more like eight, but I can't get it counted because my fingers are being weird. Okay, let me, are you, are you ready to write this down? This paper and the other paper in the suite, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, are only available during this promotion. So only from the third, the second of March until the third of May. These items they are telling us are not in the new catalog. Okay, so if you want this paper, you have to get it in the March-April time frame. Got it? Okay, let me show you something totally amazing and awesome. Now, this is one of the main dies in the, the uh, what is it called? I'm going to get this wrong for a minute. In the Brilliant Wings dies. It is perfectly positioned. You can stamp your big butterflies and then lay the die right over the top and boom, you've got six butterflies. But wait, perhaps you don't wish to color. Well, what you could do is take one of these sheets of DSP, like so, place the die right over the top and line it up and bada bing. It cuts them all out at one time, and you have a plethora of butterflies, a veritable bevy of butterflies, if you will, in a heartbeat. And the colors are wonderful. So you're going to have um, Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, um, Just Jade, 
So Saffron and Daffodil Delight, Magenta Madness, Mango Melody, Mint Macaron, Misty Moonlight. So you get a bunch of beautiful butterflies in one go. Now, I also have to show you, ah, uh, right. I know it's not, it's not, um, it is not, you know, it could be Bayou, Butterfly Bayou. No, that's not right. I think it's Bijou. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's Bijou, but okay. Anyway, let me show you the rest of the paper. So that is the other side, beautiful watercolor paper. And then you have this design with beautiful, I love this one, this is really fun. And then we have a rainbow of butterflies, and on the flip side of that is more of the watercolor, but this time in the oranges and yellows. Then you have another one with some flutter buying in the sky. And here's the flip side. And then the final design is, wait, that's not the final, I have one more is, ooh, that's pretty, I really like that. That's the same design, that's cool how they did that. That's the same background design with just different colored, uh, what looks like clouds to me in the sky and butterflies. And then you've got the uh, Bermuda Bay on the back. And then we have a final image, which is right here, here we go. Very pretty, I love, love, love. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing in the dies before we get going with my card. Okay, so just one second. <clears throat> somewhere, somewhere. Okay, now, there are three little dies right here. One, two, three. And when you run them through your cutting machine, you're going to run these through even though this one embosses, you're going to run it with the die sandwich, okay? So regular platform, acrylic plate, cardstock, die, acrylic plate. When you do that, this die right here gives this cool kind of brick texture. This die cuts like, to me, it looks like pebble stone, okay? So if you were to put that over the top of a piece of cardstock, you would get that negative space. And then you have the one that looks like a brick wall. All right, so that's what those three dies do. And then you've got some dies that cut little butterflies, and then you have dies that cut detailed butterflies. So there are a lot of dies in the brilliant, gosh, why do I, that's a really hard name for me so far. Brilliant Wings, Brilliant Wings. Butterfly Brilliance is the stamp set. Brilliant Wings is the dies, and Butterfly Bijou is the paper. But wait, there's another paper, and this is the Natural Touch Specialty Paper. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can, here, I'm gonna stand up so I can see what y'all are seeing. Can you see the texture in there? You can not only see it, you can feel it. So this actually, if y'all know what Luan feels is like, very, very thin wood, this is actually what that feels like. It's probably thinner than actual Luan, but that is kind of what it looks like. And it's very, very pretty, okay? So this is going to be available too. Again, it is only available in the during the promotion period. So the 2nd of March through the 3rd of May, okay? So stamp set and dies available during the promotion and again in the annual catalog, but the paper is only available during the promotion. Okay, I think I have stomped my foot on that enough. And now let us make the card. This is the card I made. This is my inaugural card with the Butterfly Brilliance Bundle. And it is a congratulations card. I used the um, stamped image on the inside. You can see I only used part of it. And then I have my envelope and some of that pretty rainbow butterflies on the flat. So let's get started. All of these dimensions will be in my blog tomorrow, so you don't need to worry about writing them down. The only thing you need to write down is I can only get the paper during the promotion. That part you really do need to, to write down. Okay? Okay. All right. So I have a piece of the uh, Natural Touch specialty paper, and I am going to adhere it to a purple posy. You can see the back is even kind of cool looking. You could use that color. I don't know 
if you would, but you might, you could, you can, you can do whatever you want, it's your card. But I like the front, so I'm gonna just adhere it to a purple posy mat, like so, roughly, roughly straight, as straight as I can get it, okay. Oh my gosh, I know, the, the butterflies are just amazing. I mean, truly. Hi, Mary from Southwest Minnesota. I'm guessing you're chilly today, just thinking. Just thinking. Yes, there's a lot of possibilities. The thing to remember is you're gonna get a lot of butterflies. Okay, so I've done a little bit of cutting. Now, this is a image-only stamp set, so I pulled a sentiment from the Vine Design stamp set and cut it with its die from Flowering Vines, and we're gonna use that, and that's stamped in mint macaron. And then I did some butterflies in vellum with the detailed dies. And I have also cut a whole bunch of butterflies. Butterflies, we've got butterflies. We have got some fluttering and buying. Okay, whoop, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, so I only need a three of them. I'm going to use a Minta Macaron one and a Poppy Parade one and this little yellow one right here. Okay, now these guys are gonna go back in my bowl of goodness and wait for another card use. But see, they're even pretty on the back, right? Ooh, think how pretty that would be. I just had an idea. What if you used this paper and stamped the butterfly image and then cut them out? Wouldn't those be so pretty? They would They would look like magical butterflies. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. We're gonna do a little bit of liquid gluing with our fine tip glue pen. And then I'm going to make some um, pearl bodies, some pearl bodies. All right, now I am going to adhere these. I don't need this guy. Come here, get back with your mates. I'm going to adhere these, not that one, vellum die cuts to their correspondingly sized butterflies. And I'm going to do it with my fine tip glue. You can also use a glue dot but you will for certain need to cover them because you really can kind of see them almost no matter how careful you are. So if you use the fine tip glue, you really won't be able to see them. But I'm still gonna do little pearl bodies because I like pearl bodies on butterflies. I like pearl bodies on butterflies. Okay, and we'll put this one on here. Uh -huh. Hold him down for just a second. One thing to remember is that the fine tip glue takes a little longer to set up than the liquid glue does, okay? Thank you, Peggy, I appreciate you. Hey, Heather, 20 but wind. Oh, Mary, that just made me cold even hearing about it, even hearing about it. The wind just cuts right through you. I understand, I'm sorry. Hopefully it'll warm up soon. All right, and then we're gonna put this little guy on here like so. What I like is these little guys even have their antenna. So you get the full vellum effect, which is fun. The full vellum effect. All right. Let me put a little more glue on that one right there. He wants a little more glue right there. A little more glue, a little more glue. Okay, hold. Hold. That's what I say to Finn. I've taught Finn to let me use his shoulders if I need to get, like if I've gotten down on the floor, like when we do our read to the kids Zooms, I get down on the floor with them because then I can set the computer up and make it so that they can see him. Cause I mean, that's who they really wanna see. But getting down on the floor is not for the faint of heart anymore. Actually, getting down on the floor is not so much of a problem. Getting up off the floor is a little more problematic. Okay. That guy just needs to sit and think about what he's doing because he's being a little persnickety. Okay. So I'm going to take, I'm going to use a medium pearl at the top of this butterfly. And then I'm going to use little pearls to create his little body. Now you might be asking, Mary, why aren't you using pastel pearls? Because the colors would be perfect for your card. 
but they're too big. I don't like how big they are for butterfly bodies. Butterfly bodies want to be delicate, and therefore little pearls are the way to go. Minus 14? No. Oh, no. No, no, no. That is just too cold entirely. Minus 14. That is not good. I am so sorry. Looked like some folks are connecting from uh, Canada. That's kind of cool. All right. Here we go. And I think we'll put one more. Once we do this, this is the only um, time-consuming part, really. And once we do that, it'll just be a matter of putting the card together. So we'll start this one with a medium one at the top. And then, I don't know, pearl bodies for butterflies just makes sense to me. I've been doing it for a long time. When, when, when I first started, I, I learned somewhere, I don't know why or how, but I saw somebody who did pearl bodies. And I thought to myself, man, that is a great idea. Pearls for the bodies of butterflies. Sure. Speaking of butterflies, I just bought a packet of butterfly wildflower mix. So hopefully I'll be able to get that planted and doing something. All right, now this little guy, this one I'm only going to use small ones because he's kind of a delicate flower. He's kind of a delicate flower. All right, when I get done here, I'm gonna show you, it's been a minute since I've done a double loop bow on camera, so seemed like a good time to demo it again. And I'm gonna show you how to make a linen thread double loop bow. It's really easy when once you knows how to do it. Okay, all right, let's give that a little roll there. Okay, all right, so one more thing, one more thing, let's do a double loop bow. So have your tweezers handy. If you have reverse tweezers, they are the handiest. And you're going to take your linen thread, hold it between your thumb and forefinger, and you're gonna wrap four times around four fingers. Now, you can actually modify the size of your bow by what you do with your fingers. So if you spread your fingers apart like this, you're gonna get a much bigger bow. If you pull it together, you'll get kind of a medium bow. And if you really want it small, kind of scrunch up a little bit, okay? I just kind of did a sort of scrunched one for this. So you're gonna wrap once, twice, three times, oh lady, okay, four times. And then you're gonna wrap around two fingers, once, twice, thrice, on to four times, okay. All right, and then just kind of peel the loops off. Keep your fingers holding where it comes together and give it a cut. So now you can see you have two loops, one small, one big. Just take your other hand and gather the two loops together on the other side. So now I'm holding it. It looks like a symbol of some company or something. I'm not sure what. And then give it a twist and turn it into a figure eight, like so. Then, if you have them, take your tweezers and clamp them. This is where reverse tweezers really shine because now I have essentially a third hand and I can set that tweezer right down and my bow stays in place while I cut another piece of my linen thread. What is ZSW minus two in ZSW? Hey, Teresa, I appreciate it. Glad you're live. Southwest Ontario. Huh. Now, I don't know what ZSW is. Hopefully, uh, Joanne will answer, but minus two is not very warm. Just saying. Wherever that is, is not warm. Okay, so we're going to just take that length of linen thread and wrap it around the center right by the tweezers and then do just a double overhand knot like so. Okay. And then you can just kind of play with it a little bit. Y'all, I don't know if y'all tried to have Farrah Fawcett hair. I was the least likely person on the planet to ever be able to make my hair be Farrah Fawcett hair, which meant I wanted it desperately. And I tried everything. I tried perms. I tried hot rollers, cold rollers, every kind of roller there was. My hair would 
take the curl beautifully. And for one minute and 32 seconds, I had Farrah Fawcett hair. And then I turned my head once and it was gone. It was horrible. I know, I know I've dated myself a couple of times, but I wanted Farrah Fawcett hair. So this is what I equate linen, double loop linen thread bows to is Farrah Fawcett hair. You want it to look like you just pulled your wild mane of blonde highlighted hair out of a ponytail and shook it in slow motion with music and it fell perfectly about your face, which of course is not how Farrah Fawcett got her hair. I'm quite certain it took hours in the makeup chair. I hope it does because otherwise it was just too unfair. But you just kind of pull the loops apart. It actually kind of ends up looking a little bit like a butterfly. Okay, so that's all there is and you can cut these little tails if you want or you can wait if you're making a new card and you're not really sure how it's all going to come together. Just wait on cutting those because you might want to leave them. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and get started. We'll get our layout on here. We're going to put one of our beautiful gold hoops and then we're going to have our bow and then one of the, we're going to use the mint macaron, the large one. And then our sentiment is going to go here, like so. And then we're gonna put another butterfly here. And this butterfly is going to pop with dimensionals, okay? And that's gonna be all there is, except we're gonna put a few more pearls on in after we color them, okay? So let me go ahead and leave that in place. And I'm gonna use a couple of glue dots to hold that hours and hours and cans and cans of final net. That is what I have to hope because it was, I mean, it was gorgeous. It, I'm sorry, I know I'm dating myself and I know that was like what, the 70s, the 80s, but I desperately wanted that hair, desperately. And I would tell my poor hair person, because I have hair that doesn't do anything by itself, nothing. And so I would tell the hair person with my mother's assistance, because I was younger, I mean, I I was younger, I'd say, I want it to look like Farrah Fawcett's hair. And to her credit, she would give it a go. <laughs> and it usually ended up looking like little orphan Annie had stuck her finger in a electric socket, which wasn't really the look I was going for, like at all. So, you know. Okay, so I've got that in place, and I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals. And here's a little trick. Um, I am going to put the dimensionals on the actual card front. So you can see I'm going to put my butterfly right about there, which means I can put a dimensional here. And I'm going to cut some more of these. The reason I'm doing that is when you have, when you have these uh, dimensional kinds of things, like the, ho the loop and your uh, linen bow thread, linen bow thread, your <laughs> linen thread bow, then you need to be careful about where you're putting your dimensionals because um, it will be in the way and then that won't do what you want, which is stick it to the card front, but not have a whole bunch of extra room. So you can kind of just keep putting the butterfly back on. And I'm going to put one more right here, just inside the loop. And I may get one more out here on the edge. Yeah, we're going to put one right here too. Okay, so I've got those in place and then I'll just pick up the covers like so and place Mr. Butterfly where he goes. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to put a little liquid glue on the back of my... Um, you've got long COVID ponytail? Yeah. I have a ponytail too, and that's just not what I ever had. Being in the military, I almost always had short hair because that was just easier. And so when I retired, I decided I was gonna have longer hair, which is, it's not really great for my hair. It just doesn't do good. But fortunately, I have a hair cutter stylist person now who can actually deal with my hair, and he cuts it really good. And so I do, in fact, drive 50 miles to go to him because I'm pretty certain nobody else could do it. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and put this little dude on with some liquid glue. Dippity-doo. 
Yeah, there you go. Oh, yes, dippity doo bangs. And then in the 80s, did you use it to make them big? Like, you know, how big bangs were, big bangs were? Not big bang theory, big bangs. Okay. And let's see, we'll put him right here, like so. And then I'm going to do the same with my dimensionals for this little dude, because he's going to go right here. So I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals right smack on the card front. After I cut another one. Oh, no, that one's cut. Okay, I'm going to put him right there, like that. Make sure that's where I want him. Yep, perfect. And then we're going to make a couple of... Let's see, we'll put him right there like that. Perfect. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to color some of my pearls with my, oh, let's see, I want my dark one. Where are you, dark one? Oh, dark one, here we go. With my dark purple posy marker, I'm gonna do five. So I'm gonna do four little ones and one medium one. And you do wanna let them dry just a second because if you happen to drop them on their way to where they're going, they're going to, you know, make a little purple thing right there where that was, okay? So don't ask me how I know, just know that I know. These are the things I know. I don't know a lot, but I do know that. Come on, there we go. And then let's see, we'll put another one over here. And then we're gonna put another couple I love that you can color your little pearls with any of the Stampin' Blends, which means you can have a whole bunch of colors of pearls in different sizes. All right, so there we go. That was, I believe Aquanet was the hair glue of choice for most of the claw bang wearers that I knew. <laughs> yes, Aquanet probably was. And I think you could also use it as a self-defense if you had a lighter, <laughs> like that. I think I heard that once, I read that once. Okay. Now we're going to make our car inner card, our inner liner. And this is where it gets a little tricky because you have to be sure you make it landscape. And if you don't, if you're not used to doing landscape cards, then that becomes problematic. So all I did was I just set up my, um, here, we'll go ahead and just clean that off and set it back up all of a sudden it didn't look right which makes me I got to do this so where's my example let me be sure I actually okay I did all of a sudden like I was like oh my gosh I put it in the wrong place oh no I know what I did here we go I put it in place and did my hinge steps so that I would be able to ink Whew. there we go okay you see the brain is the first to go people think it's the eyes but no it's the brain okay Hey, Joanne. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I know. I understand. Big budget. I was, uh, so, you know, you guys, if, if you're not demonstrators already and you want this right now, you can actually join and, um, fill your starter kit with this little bad boy. Okay. So you can pay your $99 and get $125 worth of your choice of product plus 200 free sheets of DSP. And you could pick the Butterfly Brilliance bundle and the paper as your starter kit, or or you could get other things that you need and then purchase the start the uh, Butterfly Brilliance with your 20% discount, because everybody loves that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my envelope right quick like a bunny, because I've got it all right here. I'm just going to put it in place. Now it's going to be a little bit different position than the inner liner, but it doesn't, it's not like it really matters, right? I mean, it doesn't matter that much. All right. Budget. Yeah, budget is, budget is an urban legend. I don't think, <coughs> I don't think that actually is a thing. I mean, I've heard of it, but it's, it's like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Does he really exist? I don't think so. All right. All right, and we'll let 
that settle. Now, just in case you didn't catch it, that was tuxedo black that I used there. All right, now I'm gonna color these little guys. So see, you have another option. You can stamp your pretty butterflies and then you can um, color them with your blends. And I'm going to use my mint macaron for one. And you have seen, I know you have seen my ever, ever so artistically complex and sophisticated coloring methods. I color all over with the light ones. Like that. And then I take the dark one and I, especially on these kinds of line drawings that Stampin' Up! has given us, I just kind of color where they have told me to color, which is where those little shadow lines are. Like so. How easy is that? All of a sudden I have a pretty mint macaron guy. Why don't I just go ahead and do my envelope right here. Now, let me just say this about that. Remember when you are coloring an envelope, you either need to put something plastic on the inside to protect it. When you're doing that with, when you're coloring with Stampin' Blends, let me uh, make it a little, be a little more clear there, because that, that was completely unclear, I'm sorry. You either have to put something in the envelope to protect the back because the Stampin' Blends, as we know, do bleed through, or you have to have a very light touch. So right now I'm just very lightly touching this envelope and that way, that way I just got it. No, I didn't, I actually got lucky there. Okay. And then again, I'll color this with my dark one, the dark version. Still holding out hope for Stampin' Blends in every color in the Stampin' Up! universe. That would be awesome! Okay, here we go. And that's that. So we can put these guys away for a minute. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's easy to keep the habit going, right? Now I'm gonna use my dark uh, Daffodil Delight and color this medium one. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go a little crazy. I'm gonna use a Poppy Parade marker on here to get to do this one. Cause, and I saw that on the, um, there's a, see this one's got like a little bit of Poppy Parade. Mine doesn't come out nearly as good, but I gave it a go. Cause you know, I'm brave like that, real brave. Just kind of coloring some of these uh, little bits of shading with the Poppy Parade like this because this is obviously a very exotic butterfly very exotic butterfly there we go all right there's that one and then this one all right okie dokie now you guys, if you're one of my customers or one of my team, I hope I'll see you tonight. This is uh, Zoom the Craft Room night, seven o'clock. And I don't know what I'm gonna be working on, probably a card, but come, just chat and craft or just chat and not craft, whatever makes you happy. Just a chance for us to kind of get together and have a little fun. Okay, there's that one. And then the last one is going to be some purple posy and I picked up the the correct one so it's the light purple posy and we'll just this one just caught the corner there okay cool beans okay and while I have my envelope sitting here I'll go ahead and put on my little piece of butterfly paper my butterfly paper Oh, well, thank you for their service, Joanne. Appreciate you, and I know Canada does as well. The, my theory is, is that the whole family tends to serve. They don't always serve in the same way, but they are all serving nonetheless. Between worrying and covering the home front, um, 
everybody everybody has a piece of it when when one person serves all right and we're just going to trim that off i love this um i really love this paper i'm hoping that stampin up is playing a little trick on us and it will be in the <laughs> annual catalog because i really like it a lot Okay, uh, do notice, however, there is an up and a down, so unless you want your butterflies flying upside down, which they do really well, then you wanna be careful how you put that on. Okay, so I'm going to adhere this to my Purple Posy, um, hey Cheryl, my Purple Posy mat with a little liquid glue. And I have opted for a black card base because I think it's pretty. And I like how it kind of pops with the purple posy. And all of the stamped images, all of the butterflies are stamped in black. So I liked kind of that continuity. And I even cut the card base ahead of time and I even cut it the correct direction. So I actually made a landscape card base for my landscape card, which I thought was pretty impressive. Okay, now just so you know, this has already got quite a bit of heft to it, so instead of popping it on with dimensionals like I normally would, I am actually going to use liquid glue. Just take one little less layer out because it's already got plenty of pop, plenty of pop right there. And that is that. All right. Yay, I love Butterfly Bouquet! I was so happy that it got here today so I could show it to you. All right. And then we've got, where's my, oh, there it is. Okay. So here we go. Oops. I'm going to have to do something about that. I probably just stamp another butterfly right there and color it. Okay. All right. So there we go. Two cards. Beautiful butterfly brilliance and the but brilliant butter, brilliant wings die set in the new catalog, available March and April for you guys. And then the uh, Butterfly Bijou paper and the Natural Touch paper, which will only be available during the promotion. All right? Okay, thank you guys so much. I hope I will see you, um, I hope I'll see some of you tonight at seven on the Zoom meeting. And if not, hope to see you on Saturday on our Facebook Live. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.